Hey guys, Boba Bricks here with another video, and this time I'm here to give you guys a how to video of how to make a Heimdall from uh, Thor Ragnarok and Avengers Infinity War. So, I really do like how this figure out. I think it has some really nice design, and I really do like the things I've done and to make him look what I believe to be really accurate to Heimdall in Thor Ragnarok and Avengers Infinity War. So, without further ado, let's get right into this. Now let's start off with the legs. What I actually did for these legs, if you can see right there, is I actually took them from Tasu Leech from the LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens sets and gave them to him. If you've seen my Bucky video, this these are the same legs I used for him as well. But I just really like those. They had a nice boot look and just really look nice. Now for the torso what I actually did was I actually took the piece from the guard from the Prince of Persia sets, the back part actually, I flipped it around and took that back part and put it on there because it just had some really nice design, it has that brown strap that goes across, kind of that crimson like color, the silver uh, padding thing is not too accurate but the design of how it looks is pretty accurate. So I really like how that looks, I think it looks really nice. Now for these arms and hands, they're just your standard brown arms and hands. You can get them on May figures, such as Teen Groot, or, um, I'm trying to think of the other one, but I know that they're on many, many other figures that you can get them fairly easily. Now what I actually did for this cape was I took it from Catman from the Lego Batman movie collectible May figure series and gave it to him. It's just your standard brown cloth cape that he's wearing it's not anything special but it just is really accurate to that kind of brown cloak that Heimdall does have in Thor Ragnarok and Infinity War. And now for this face what actually is is a case is the face from Carlo Mordo. Tell me if I'm saying that wrong in the comments below but it's a guy from Doctor Strange who basically helps him train everything like that and as you can probably guess he's in the Doctor Strange set. And so this figure is actually fairly cheap. I bought another one because I wanted two of the faces for two different figures I was working on. And I got him for maybe like three bucks or something like that. So you can get that figure for fairly inexpensive. And now this hair is actually the hair from Tasu Leech. So this hair I used on my Loki Me figure M Heimdall. So I really like how it looks. It has that brown look that goes down to the sides and just everything about it looks like Heimdall. So I really do like how that looks as well. And now for this sword. This sword I'm actually unsure where it came from. I think it's from one of the older castle sets. I'm unsure about that though. But I really like how it looks. It uh, I think is fairly accurate to the sword that he has in Thor Ragnarok and in Thay War that he can transport things through. Uh, space into different areas and stuff, but I really do like how it looks. So there you have it, that's my Heimdall main figure from Thor Ragnarok and Avengers Infinity War. I really do like how it looks, I think it has some really nice detail from bottom to top, I think it's really accurate. So tell me what you guys think in the comment sections below, if you like this figure, if you don't, what you may have done, if you and if you guys plan to make this figure as well. So thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time, bye.